Hey guys, it's I'm Nancy Player and welcome to another video. Today, I prepared a mini series. What we're going to be doing is learning how to make custom GUIs and how to make our own micro games inside chests. There are going to be three episodes total, each spaced one week apart. First, let me show you the end result. So here in the first episode, you're going to learn how to make this sort of a reward GUI. And when you click the item in the middle, you'll get this item and a reward message in the action bar. Of course, it's going to be fully customizable. This item is just a demo. Now quickly, I do want to mention that some sort of basic command block knowledge is required if you want to understand what's going on, but as per usual, all the commands are going to be in the description. Also, for those of you interested, this is roughly the size of the contraption we're going to be making. So this is the place where we're going to be making the thing. So let me first grab a chest. And actually, if you've noticed, I renamed the chest in the old location right here. It's actually called Claim Reward, so we can do that as well. All right, sweet, here we have a claim reward chest. Now on with the item paint. Again, in the all location, if I try to grab one of those frames, it's not gonna work because, well, it's a GOI. So we can recreate that as well. So if you try to get this boat out of this chest, it's not gonna work. So this is how we're gonna be making the GOI paints. So first we replace the slot in the chest with an acacia boat with GUI 1B. Now GUI is not a coded in tag, so you can just set it to E equals 1B. For simplicity's sake, I'm gonna be keeping it GUI equals 1B. And then what we're gonna be doing next is clearing the acacia boats with the GUI 1B. So as soon as we pick it up, it's gonna get removed straight from our inventory. So now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be replacing every single slot except the slot in the middle with a black stained glass pane. Now, do I start with a zero? So it's gonna be zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. The slot in the middle is 13, so we're gonna skip 13. Now I'm gonna actually be showing you how to replace the slot, and then we're just gonna change the numbers. So we're gonna go into slash replace item block these coordinates, and let's first start with container zero, and it's gonna be a black stained glass pane right here. Now we make it to GUI 1B. Next, we're gonna actually make it have no name. So we do that by display colon squiggly brackets, name colon, and then these things and squiggly brackets in the middle, and then text equals or uh, colon and we leave this empty. So let's see if this worked. Yes. Now let's do this for every single slot. Roll the time lapse. Now notice as I get to 12, I'm actually gonna skip 13 because that's the middle slot and we're gonna have an, the real item inside of here. And so I'm gonna just continue on with a 14 until we get to a 26. Mm -hmm. 25, oops, I messed that up. And here we go, 26. So, now this should be all functional, and we should have these glass panes, but we can still pick them up, which is a problem, so let's clear them. Again, that's clear at a black stained glass pane right here with a GUI 1B. And now since we're checking with since we're checking for GUI1B, we don't actually have to check for the name anymore. And here we go. So let's make this item. Now let's, for example, take this sword I have randomly in my saved toolbars. And let's have this be the main item. So first, what we're going to do is we're going to detect if this item is actually not in there. Now what you normally want to do is actually check for the NBT. But, what, but because this is just a tutorial, I'm going to be checking for a normal diamond sword. So let's do that right now. So how we're going to be doing it is pretty simple. We're going to execute unless, because we want to check if it's not true, that the block at the coordinates, I think it's 1003, 101, 1003, we can change that later, is a chest. 
and now we check for the specific slot. So squiggly brackets, items, uh, colon, and then we go these brackets and these brackets. I don't actually know how they're called. Um, now we're checking for slot equals 13B. Now let me just make a few spaces here so I can scroll. And we're going for uh, ID equals Minecraft diamond sword. These spaces did not help at all. This is a scam. And we're going to leave it at this. And this command block is going to execute if the middle item in this chest is not a diamond sword. Which means we either dropped it or we clicked on it. We're going to get to dropping later. First, let's assume we actually clicked the item. So what we're going to do next is we're going to replace the item back. And that's in case it was dropped like this because we did not actually click it. So we replace that by doing replace item block, then again, the coordinates, 101, 1003, uh, container is 13, and uh, again, we're just gonna do a normal diamond sword here. Now we do wanna make this conditional because it only does that if the item is not there. Oh, also, we do wanna give this sword GUI 1b as well and you're gonna see why right now now next we're gonna clear the sword with a gui 1b now the reason we're giving it the gui 1b tag is because then we want to give the player an actual item without the gui tag so we don't have to clear it from them so we do clear at a uh, diamond sword or is it here with gui 1b so we don't accidentally clear the real sword when we clear the gui one and again we make this conditional and then we can finally give the player the real item so we give um now i'm going to be doing at p you can actually execute this in a specific location and i'm going to show you how right now so that is execute position and we go 1003 101 1003 oh i did not mean to do that three and then we type that command run uh, give at P which is the closest player from the chest and we do uh, diamond sword and now here we don't include the GUI 1B so we don't clear next time again conditional and next we can remove the chest so we go set block uh, 103 101 103 actually I'm gonna copy this coordinates so I don't have to do it every time. And we're gonna place it to air. Now the next two things I'm gonna do are purely cosmetic, but I'm gonna do it just because it looks better and because I want you to guys to see what you can actually do. So normally you would generate a particle command, but I'm just gonna copy it from here because, well, I already made it. And again, the commands are gonna be in the description. So we place it here, make it conditional, and we replace these coordinates with the real ones. Again, this is in the description. Conditional, done. And the one final thing we do is we display the action bar. So title at P. Again, you can make it positioned. I'm just not going to do it because it's the tutorial action bar. And here's the text. So this is how you make a text. Text. Now you can generate this online, but I'm just going to be writing it out by hand. Uh, let's say you received a diamond sword with an exclamation point. Now I'm gonna make it, oops, I'm also gonna make it a green color equals green. I think it's green. Uh, conditional, done. So let's check it if it works. Uh, yes, it does. Well, that's great. However, if I try to drop any of those items or the sword for that matter, we can literally just get them for free. So that's not good. Now this is all fixed with one simple command. Actually, it's not that simple, but I'm gonna walk you through it. So let's just grab a repeating command block and place it like right here. And uh, let's do kill at E and uh, the type is gonna be item. Actually, you don't need to do this, but it's just a safety check. And the NBT equals uh, squiggly brackets. Also, I'm gonna put this here just so it stops being red and we go uh, item colon squiggly brackets uh, tag colon squiggly brackets 
and here we go, finally, GUI 1B. Now the cool part about this is that it's not actually item specific, it kills anything with a tag GUI 1B, as long as it's an item of course. And uh, boom, see if it works. Yes it does, it even works with a sword. Oh, I'm not dropping any, here we go. It works. But still, if I click it, I get it, and it does not clear this one, because it does not have the tag GUI 1B. Now, this is gonna be all for today's episode. So this is how you make the amazing reward GUI. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, that's about it. See you next week for episode two.